Hey traders, Akil Stokes here. Welcome back to the Trading Coach Podcast. Today, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but we're gonna talk about when to break your trading rules. Now, one rule if you guys are new, you must do this. Make sure you take the 10 episode challenge here with the Trading Coach Podcast. There are over a thousand episodes, a lot to choose from. Go back, pick a random 10 or Google search, whatever topic you want, followed by Trading Coach Podcast or put Trading Coach Podcast before, however you like, and find 10 that stand out to you. But give the show a chance. And if you like it, make sure you tune in each and every week as we release three new episodes. All right, let's hop in want to just look at something and be like ah you know what i'm just gonna trade it late because of blah 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 you you want you want to stick to your rules um i, I read a thing this morning by a, a trader that i i follow a trader that i'm good friends with and I, I forgot it was like four rules of trading and the last one was like i agreed with all uh, five rules of trading I, I agreed with the first four and then the last one said um know when to break your rules and this is someone that i highly respect this is a really good friend of mine this is an excellent trader but i disagree with that part maybe when you have 20 years of experience um i read that in um peter brandt's book uh diary of a uh, diary of a commodities trader i think it was called i forgot i talk about it all the time um it's a, it's a great book that's never mentioned and he breaks his rules in that I don't believe in it. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I think it just it opens the door to a very slippery slope. Because if you have a rule that says you're allowed to break your rules, then what's stopping you from always? What's the point of rules? I'm sure we can probably think of a specific scenario, um, but I also think we can make a rule. We, we can make we can create rules that give us outs. So like, for example, um, if you are here, here's one. If you're you're in a trade, you're going on vacation, you're going to be on a long flight for 13 hours across the country or across wherever, and you have a trade in, 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 in progress and you're not comfortable holding that trade when you can't you don't have access to your charts. So you exit before the flight starts, or, or you, you could even do the same thing like on, on end of day or something like that, right? That is a that is breaking your rules because you're exiting a trade early, right? But that's also something that can be written in your trade plan. If I'm going to be away or if I'm going on vacation or if I'm, you know, insert whatever it is, then I'm allowed to exit my trade. So I don't I don't know how I really feel about the I don't know. You got any any opinion on that guys? The, should we be allowed to break our rules? What do you what do you think? I I, I think it's a slippery slope. But what, what do you guys think? It's tough. I, I yeah, I think I I think I think the thing about rules are this. We create our rules. And if we want an out, we just add a rule for it. Right. Here's a here's a, here's another one. If, um, you know, I, I mentioned this to a trader the other day. He was or I had this conversation with a trader the other day. He was trading. Um, he was trading daily chore. And the problem was that the entry for his trade came right at the rollover. And, um, you know, the rollover it typically spreads increase depending on your broker. It may increase by a little bit or a lot. Right. It, it's not uncommon like during the rollover and the rollover like the, the, the Forex market doesn't close. But there is like this rollover period, usually it's about 15 minutes, um, where the market like resets and you'll see spreads go from like one to like, it could be like 20. <laughs> and it could be more depending on your broker. And the problem he had was like, well, Keo, I'm, I'm, I'm trading the daily chore. I'm supposed to trade it as soon as this bar closes slash open, the new, the new day begins. The problem is when the new day begins, my spread is like 30 pips. And I don't know if that's the exact number, but I'm just saying, saying a, a big number. So like, I, do I enter the trade with a 30 pip spread? Because now I'm, I'm 30 pips in the negative. 
right off the bat. And you know the daily chore, it, it's the, the risk reward is, is it's not in our favor. It's pretty much even unless you've made some big um, changes to it. So he's like, I want to wait it out. But my rule is this. So what do you think a solution for that is? We don't want to break our rules and not enter a trade, but I, we don't want to enter a trade with a 30 pip spread, do we? <laughs> right. So what, what do you think our what do you think our solution is? Wait for the next trade. Well, can't wait for the next trade. It's going to be the same thing, right? Every day we're going to if if we're trading the open slash close of the open of the new candle, the new day, it's always going to be during that rollover time. That spread's always going to increase. Yeah, Lynn says make a rule. I said, hey, how about instead of trading it at 5 p.m., and I don't know what time it was his time, but 5 p.m., say I don't enter the trade until 6 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. And I told him to track, you know, when his spreads go back to normal so he has a, he has a consistent time to follow, but you get what I'm saying. So he created a rule to say, hey, I'm not going to trade it right on the open. I'm going to trade it one hour after the open. So he's not breaking his rules. He just created a rule, an adjustment that allows him to accomplish what he wants. And now that's a rule, so he's not breaking it, right? So we can do that with any aspect of our trading. That's the cool thing about a trading plan. The thing is, we just have to be honest with ourselves. Cherry can't like be looking at a trade right now. And then she's like, uh, I'm going to type this in right now. Oops, technically in my trading plan. <laughs> and now I break the rule, right? Like that's, you know, we're, we're taking advantage. I guess technically you can do that, but like that's taking advantage of it. I think we we know the, we know there's a, a line between that, but I'm talking about if you observe something and like, I think someone mentioned vacation earlier and like, man, like let's just put it into the trading plan. And now I can cons consistently follow it. So not a believer in know when to break the rules. I get the, the reasoning behind it. And again, I know the trader personally, so I know this trader is, is locked in and does all the right things. Um, but I also think that we can get around it by just creating a rule. And these are the adjustments that we make in our trading plan, whether it's something as simple as that or whether it's something like I did in 2014, 12 where I stopped taking target twos with uh, patterns and only took target ones. Because I noticed that target twos weren't hitting at the rate that was the year of like low volatility. Targets weren't hitting at the rate that I need them to hit at. Target twos weren't hitting at the rate that I needed them to hit at in order to be profitable. Target ones were, however. So instead of just being like, ah, I'm just gonna take everything out on this one, right? You do your analysis. I, I went through my three month period, six month period. Um, and then just change my rule that says I'm only going to take I'm going to take everything off at target one instead of target two. So it's not wasn't breaking my rule. It wasn't early target taking. I created a rule that allowed me to do that. So good conversation there. This conversation came from one of our live trading room sessions. If you're interested in joining Jason Greystone, myself and a great community of traders as we break down the markets on a daily basis. Come on in, don't be shy. It is part of your 14 day risk free trial. Just head over to www.tier1trading.com, check it out, take some courses, download some software, network with like minded individuals, and come into the live sessions, which will be beneficial for your trading. www.tier1trading.com, go there now. And until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. Take care.